My name is Ben Knowles from East Coast Yacht Sales, and today uh, Caroline Pippa and I are headed to Peaks Island for another boating adventure on the Axopar. So please take a look at this video, and if you have any questions for us, feel free to reach out Use the information below this video. So one key to success for awesome axe bar boating adventures is of course having proper snacks on board. And Caroline has gotten a great system going for just having these small containers where snacks can be well contained. So Pippa can enjoy boat rides with a full tummy. Right, Pip? <laughs> uh, so this has been a really great find, just having these small little compartments uh, for storing food. We even use uh, some here, even back here. This one is, is spent, but even pill jars uh, filled with food um, have been a great uh, way to keep uh, Pippa fueled up during these adventures. About our adventure for today, um, we are headed to Peaks Island and uh, Peaks Island's about 20 nautical miles away. Uh, the sea breeze has just uh, kicked in, uh, so it's blowing from the south now. What we're gonna do is it's really fun to go to Peaks Island and rent some bikes and go for a bike ride. Um, it's not too far, but it's just a beautiful ride and a lot of fun. We don't have our own bikes, so we do rent them. Uh, you can put bikes up on, on these racks up here, which uh, certainly would be quite slick and very cool. But what we do bring on board with us is Pippa's chariot. Um, she, we've got underneath here, this cover here, we've got the Thule chariot, which is has a bike attachment. Um, and the chariot fits beautifully in just this bow compartment. Um, the reason why I have the cover out is just to keep any salt um, out, you know, away from the Thule chariot. But um, it's a really great way to carry it, just up in that bow there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get underway and head to Peaks Island. So one key component which makes this whole boating thing a lot easier for us is just the ability for me to run the boat fully solo while Caroline is tending to Pippa and whatnot. Um, just with having these full walking around side decks and these side doors just makes handling the boat solo so much easier. Um, and as a result, you know, we, if it wasn't easy, we probably wouldn't be boating as much. But because it's easy and fun, uh, we do it all the time. So, um, but we're gonna throttle up here and make our way. So here we are making our way up to the Cripstone Bridge. Beautiful, famous bridge all built out of granite and it's a nice shortcut um, to cut off Bailey Island Point and the ladies have made their way play in the aft cabin. Uh, the aft cabin is really great for that. People will crawl back in there and, and, and play by herself nice and quiet so it's, it's great for the longer runs for sure for her to go hang out by herself but yeah we're gonna get underneath this bridge and keep on headed on to Peaks Island coming up here on uh, Peaks Island so this is Long Island just off to our port here um, coming through the Hussey Sound up, up, up just ahead. This is Cow Island, Great Diamond Island. There are so many boats out here today. It's so great to see everyone enjoying the water. I love it. Primarily the reason why I like doing these videos is to not only have people be aware of what you can do with an Axopar, but just this world that you can unlock when boating in general. Um, 
It is such a fun world. Whatever gets you out on the water uh, is worth doing. Because um, you can just, without having to have these grand, you know, major vacations, you can hop on your boat and be in your backyard and feel like you're in a foreign country. So uh, coming up here on Peaks, just off to our port, and we'll be ashore soon. Here we are on Peaks Island. Lots of activity here. And Pippa is all ready to go. Ready, Pip? <laughs> do, do, do. It is. All right, we're officially geared up at Brad's bike shop. And Pippa is super stoked to get underway, right? And uh, here we go. Finishing up our micro adventure on Peaks Island. Headed back to the boat. Switching over from land adventure mode to sea adventure mode. Right, Pat? Wow. So, pulling out of Peaks Island Marina, headed back to Harpswell. There's a bit of a designated spot. Yeah, where she likes to hang out while underway. Just coming up on, uh, this is just in the horizon here. This is Harpswell. So this is a really fun cut to go through. At the end of Bay of the Island, this is, this building over here is Land's End. And there's a little cut that you can sneak through. It's the very southern tip of Bailey's. It's always a fun, place to squeeze through because it's not totally apparent that a boat should be able to come through this cut here. 